Hi everybody, it's Dr. Klein here, and I'd like to provide you with some updates about some changes to our Chromebooks that are going to occur beginning after school this Friday, May 8th. As a result of park testing, one of the things we've had to do with student Chromebooks since March is lock down the operating system version on our Chromebooks. We've been stuck at Chrome OS version 40 since before park testing started in March to ensure that there were no technical issues with the Chromebooks. Once testing concludes this Friday, we will update Chromebooks again, and they will come all the way up to date to version 42, the current version. With this current version, there's one significant change we wanted to make everybody aware of. Down in the lower left-hand corner of your Chromebook, you have had previously the launcher button, and it looked like a series of nine little squares. So the lines between the squares kind of looked like a tic-tac-toe board. That has now been replaced with this image, the magnifying glass. Now what happens is when we click on the launcher or the magnifying glass, we see a very different looking screen. In this screen, you see a search bar. This search bar is very similar to the Omni bar at the top of uh, Chrome on any computer. So in this search bar, I can type a search like UEFA Champions League, and I will have a series of results that will come up just like I would if I was typing in a Google search on the google.com website, or if I was typing in the Omni bar at the top of the Chrome browser. I can hit the back button to go back to the main launcher page. I can also use this search bar to type in the name of an app on my Chromebook and it will find that app. So for example, if I want to use my calendar app, I can type in calendar or begin to type in calendar and I will see that then the calendar app icon will appear. And all I need to do is click this button to launch my calendar. Again, I can click back if I want to go back to the main launcher screen. Below the search bar, I have my four most recently used apps listed, and then I have a folder off here to the right that says All Apps. When I click on that folder, I will see all of my Chrome OS apps showing, and I can move through them just like I've been able to previously on the Chrome uh, OS app launcher. Below my apps, I also have Google Now cards. Now, right now, I have no cards showing. But, for example, here I might have a weather card. Now, in my case, I typically have a lot of Google Now cards. I have cards that show upcoming events. Um, I have cards that show recent web searches. Our students will likely have less Google Now cards. Uh, but that is the place that the Google Now cards appear just below the list of apps and the search bar. One little trick to make this go a little faster, because it is a few clicks if I have to click down here on the magnifying glass icon and then click all apps and then go find the app. One trick is that rather than clicking initially at all, on the keyboard on a Chromebook, there is a magnifying glass key. It sits on the left side between the shift and the tab key where the caps lock key normally exists. All you need to do is click that magnifying glass key and that will launch the launcher. Once the launcher has been launched, you can again start typing in the name of the app you're looking for and then click on the app or hit enter to launch that app. So that's a quick tutorial of the changes that will come. Just so everybody has an understanding, these changes will begin rolling out to student Chromebooks that are connected to the internet over this Mother's Day weekend, uh, beginning after school, Friday, May 8th. Uh, so students should be receiving these changes no later than Monday or Tuesday when they're back in school on the 11th or 12th. And then as always, when the arrow showing that the update is on the computer appears in the lower right corner of the, of the screen, students should go ahead at an appropriate time and launch that update to get these new features. Thanks so much.